Hey, 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 good looking. Want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine and swing on into my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do a Whip It Up Wednesday pizza casserole. Who's already rock out with their cracks out? Well, ladies, get your cracks out. Now, I went ahead, I just browned up one pound of ground beef. Now go ahead, put some of this ground beef in the bottom of our crock pot. And no, I did not drain off any of the drippings, but I'm not picking up any of the drippings when I am putting this all into the crock pot. Okay, now we have a nice little layer of ground beef down. I want to sit there and add a layer of shredded cheese. And I'm using a blend of Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. Now, you're also going to be needing some noodles, so I'm going to open up my noodles and we're going to add a layer of noodles down in. And now we're gonna sit there open up I have a can or a jar of my Rotel tomatoes so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna open them up go ahead Add some of them. Spread that all out. Grab some of our pepperoni and now put a layer of pepperoni down. But before I do that, I want to sit there and add some pizza seasoning now let's go ahead and lay our pepperoni all down now you can put as little or as much pepperoni as you like or you could put no pepperoni in at all it's all up to you you also can put mushrooms in here, a layer of mushrooms. Go ahead, open up a can of mushrooms. I would drain them and then put a layer of the mushrooms down. Or you could be like me, and because I don't do mushrooms, I'll do the mushroom powder. That way I don't have to deal with the mushrooms and my family's happy because mushrooms have been used. So I deal with going with the latter part with the mushroom powder. Here is my mushroom powder that I made. So I'm just going to go ahead, put some mushroom powder in. Like I said, this is the only way I will do mushrooms. So it's a win-win for my family. Now, 
go ahead put another layer of the ground beef down looks good ma thank you <laughs> can't wait for supper Put another layer of cheese. And put another layer of noodles and another layer of sauce and keep repeating until your crock pot is all full. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put mine on high and I'll see you in about three to four hours. Otherwise, you can put this on low and cook it for six to eight hours. All right, let's go ahead and check and see if the noodles are done. I have some cheese sticking to my cover. So we'll just kind of Okay, I'm just going to go down along the side Mm-hmm <laughs> I'm going to go grab a plate so I could just some of this up because my husband is bugging the heck out of me because he's hungry. So I'll be seeing you in a minute. I'm just gonna go ahead with my spatula and use my spatula to cut down amongst the noodles. Now remember, the first piece is not always the prettiest, so I'm going to do my best in getting it out. And there you go. I'm going to let him finish fixing the rest of his plate, and I'm going to continue dishing it up for myself. And we're gonna commence eating. So if you liked this little rocking out with a crock out little session, be sure to hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button up above. Tap that little bell. That way you'll always be notified every time I do put on a new video. And most of all, y'all come back now.